what's going on. I managed to have two thoughts in a single day. Imagine that. That's a stretch for some people. I'm going to be using the analogy of gold and how it's made, even though I have no idea about the specifics. All right? And stay with me because there's a point to all this insanity. Gold is formed in stars under a certain temperature, pressure, certain conditions. Okay? And it can't be made any other way that I know of. But gold is what it is. It's not any other element. It's not silver. It's not iron. Whatever. Okay? Gold can show up in several different ways. I have a gold alloy earring. That's one way. Gold can be used in computers, electronics, etc. Right? It's all gold. Shows up in different ways. That's something we, we can agree on. This is going to point out that the whole nature-nurture false dichotomy is ridiculous because in everything in the freaking world, universe, extended, whatever, things are what they are because of the conditions that made them. Right? You can look at gold and you say, okay, it was made under this set of conditions. Or with anything. You can apply that to people, other people, your own self, in that same way. Yeah, you're who you are because of the circumstances that you were raised in, whatever else, things that have gone on in your life, how much money you have or whatever. Those have all shaped you into the person you are. But the person you are can show up in several different ways. And while, yes, it's conditions that lead things like, say, a gold statue to be a statue versus a ring or whatever else, they are conditions. Now, since you are a human being with autonomy, you can set your own conditions and show up in the way that you want. So if you're gold, you're always going to be gold. Choose what you're going to show up as. Hmm? Just my two cents. Thank you for listening. Love and gratitude. Done.